if you're really working to be balanced, there'll be times when you're not balanced. So you need to give yourself some unconditional love, just like a divine mother would. Hey folks, it's Susan at the Rock Shop at 311 Broadway Historic, downtown Paducah. Positive energy, it works. Time for your angel message this week. And I'm using Kyle Gray's Angel Prayer Oracle Cards. Great deck. They have already been cleared and shuffled, so we're ready for your message. All right, let's pick them one at a time this week. Let's just do it a little bit different. I'm inclined to pick this one. Healthy Choices. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy choices. Okay, well, you know, I don't know about you, but I do like my chocolate cake. And, all right, I really love my chocolate cake. Well, and I like cookies, too. But I recognize that those are not always healthy choices. So rather than beating myself up about it, what I choose to do then is to have some balance in my life. And here our, our angel image shows that they're doing a pose that requires some balance. I believe that's called the tree pose in yoga. And I think that when we balance out our life, however that looks, balance in, in most areas, then we can afford to have some indulgences because we make healthy choices 90% of the time. You know, this is earth. It's, it's physical. It's three-dimensional. There's so many wonderful things to enjoy. And I think that it's important that we do enjoy them, whether they're uh, things that we consume, whether we experience them or create them. But there has to be some balance. So make healthy choices. All right, what's next? I'm picking this card right here. The Divine Mother, Unconditional Love. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love that I deserve. You know, this is probably um, somewhat related here. The Divine Mother, um, forgiveness, unconditional love. So if you're really working to be balanced, there will be times when you're not balanced. So you need to give yourself some unconditional love, just like a Divine Mother would, because like I said, this is the three-dimensional uh, physical earth, so there are many delights here. So don't get all jiggy if you're not like making a healthy choice, as long as it's not exclusively making unhealthy choices. Balance. But I want to talk about unconditional love for a minute. You know, I learned about unconditional love, oh, decades ago from a woman, uh, Patty Coderobles, I believe is her last name, and it really is an impactful concept to be able to understand unconditional love. A lot of people think unconditional love means that you like something or like something that is being done or that uh, you like the person. No, that's not what unconditional love means. Love, unconditional love means that you love them as a human. Now, you may not enjoy their behavior or even disapprove of their behavior, or maybe their behavior is completely unacceptable. But you can love the human and the, the divine part of that, that being, but dislike and, and reject the behavior. It's a trick, believe me. It, and it takes a lot of practice and a lot of self-work. But the unconditional love is what we feel when we are connected to the divine. And it's, it's an amazing feeling. All right, what's the third card here? Third message. Ooh, I'm hearing there's four messages this week. Okay, a leap of faith. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Wonderful. Well, I know a lot of people are on the, the precipice of something new going on in their life. I heard from you last week that a lot of people are ready to change the career or have just changed the career or are looking for a new career. So leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. You know, when you are rooted in the divine, when you are on the right path, there can be some things that feel scary, but they are the right path for you. So take that leap. Move forward. Your divine team is working with you. I'm hearing that there's a fourth card this week. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, I'm feeling real 
energy right there. Synchronicity. Thank you, angels. I trust in your well-timed guidance and signs. All right. So what we have here is the yin-yang symbol, which is, again, balance. We talked about balance with our first card, healthy choices. So when synchronicities, which I don't believe in coincidences, I think they are well-orchestrated divine energy coming in and helping us. Um, when they show up in our life, pay attention, all right? Love yourself like a divine mother would love you and take a leap of faith. You're going to be okay. Folks, I hope that message resonates with you this week. Thumbs up is appreciated. Subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell. You'll get notified every time I put out a new video. But above all, folks, have a very blessed week. Namaste. Namaste.